game is because its beak is hard, but it meets flesh, and you like get your hand behind the back of its beak and oh. deep in its flesh, and it goes, ah, 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 stop, 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 stop. Um, I feel you. <laughs> uh, so you see that the eagle looks at you and says, oh, sexy eagle lady, huh? Okay, well, let's talk, dude. And flies you out over the vast sea of lava, <laughs> uh, swivels you down to one of his claws, and is like, so like, what kind of cash are we talking? Can I say something in writing? <gasps> oh, suits of armor, fine masterwork blades. See, the eagle goes, I want a gold nest. Pickering, <laughs> <laughs> can we get our friend here a gold nest? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but yes, we can. <laughs> All right, just uh, tell my man's here on the line and he'll get you your gold nest. Uh, insane. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, right where the eagle grabbed you, or right where you grabbed the eagle, I should say, eagle flies back and goes, shit. Okay, well, <laughs> looks like I made the right move. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to share with that eagle up there, who I am assuming is gonna stick with us. <laughs> well, you see, he looks down and says, <clears throat> I got your back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see that the giant eagle sort of hops over to you uh, and says, look, now that we're out of the fight, you and me gotta talk about percentages and some real numbers. <laughs> okay, you put an S after percentage, uh, which <laughs> means like, so are, are you, I mean, are you joining the crew? I mean, I want to know what we're making on this job, and I want to know the other jobs that depend on this, because I want to get cut into the back end of those as well. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're going to talk, but this is going to be a more formal discussion. I don't want no handshake deals that you can back out handshake of. Handshake deal? We had a talent shake deal, my man. Yeah, we were up no, there. No, that, this you were deal, talking that, a lot when, we were, when yeah, it was, yeah, when it was go time. That, that deal stands. You know, you will get your golden nest or what have you, but, you know, this other back end deal stuff. I mean, but if, 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 they're, if they're in the realm of golden nest, I got Gotcha. <laughs> you see the eagle turns over to you and says, it is, I mean, like, it's got to be like 140 degrees in here. How is this lady still dripping wet? <laughs> <laughs> that's wild. Yeah. I mean, forgive me, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, no, Just I as that like... happens, I, 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 I spasm and, and, and like, drip some of water getting in his eye. Yeah. It's because of my beak. I don't have hands. Can you get that for me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's your name, by the way? <laughs> Uh, he l looks down at you and goes, um, he says, uh, John Feathers. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> And that's not a, uh, you know, a sort of romanization, like a, just like a translation of a name? That's your name? Yeah, John Feathers. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Nice to meet you, John. I can't wait to see what we get up to. Uh, the, the, the men of Tiriath called me Bahir of the yeah. fast wind. Okay, but. you don't have to act like you don't know what I'm asking. <laughs> yeah, but no, that's that's my name. You, some people that are close to me call me JJ just because my dad is John Feathers Sr. and when I was growing up, you know, up in the mountains. Jay Feathers Jr. No one calls me that. Okay. JJJ, <laughs> Triple J. Mm -hmm. All right, very yeah. good. Uh, JJ's fine. Oh, um, cool. Uh, but in any case, um, so, I mean, we're t so Golden Nest is fine. You guys want me to keep working for you guys. I mean, you guys are done with this battle, so my debt's paid. If you want to work something else out, we can work something else out. We can do it on a gig by gig basis. Okay, well, Sort of, and then, you know, prorated, I'm sure. So what are we talking here? Yeah, well, yeah, well, you said you want Ness. Obviously, as an eagle, you have different wants and desires of me as a human with a, uh, you know, human. Uh, so, Maybe like what, a big salmon. Yeah, what, what's, what's, what's your game? What can we get oh, for you that would make you Maybe an egg? You, <laughs> All right. you don't want a big salmon? Do you want an egg? Do I want an egg? You sit on it. Hatch it. Oh, you guys are really ruining my deals. I need y'all to just... I'm trying to help. I know we can find him a big egg. Says, it's easy. He says, look, I'll be honest. I want a gold nest, and I want to wear clothes like people do. <laughs> like jeans? Hmm? Oh. Jeans? I want to wear pants, and I want to wear a robe. I want to have sleeves, and I want to have shoes. I don't know what kind of shoes they can have, because i got to keep my talent so I can land on stuff. Mm. But I want some, you know, look. Do you want it to be wet eternally? I, is this because you feel that this will confer upon you the status of, status of personhood? Or is it more that you're more interested in the garments themselves? It's a very important distinction because pants, frankly, are overrated. And, it, and little gestures towards <laughs> the kid abdomen. You see, he, uh, he goes, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. F finish this sentence. We are going to destroy the free world of 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you'll tack on elves and dwarves there. Where's eagles? Where's eagles at? Yeah, no one. Yeah, that's no, you know, you make right. a really good You're point. right. That's, that's I mean, really we, we have we fully talk. We have a full language. You're right. Well, you are, well, are you, or are you not free anyway? I mean, do you? No one's uh, hold on. Do you transcend the free world of men? Is all I'm saying. You do generally live far higher than most of the smaller races. You want maybe you weren't even on the radar, our lord. Do we? Uh, listen, we can quibble. Do we honestly feel that the free world refers to an altitude? Okay, yes, you're right. No. We're doing semantics. Yeah. This is semantics. Yes, absolutely. Right? That's all I'm saying is it's semantics. I, yeah, I totally kind of like lumped you in with like, like you know, all, there, there's like a group of people who are like, oh, these animals are good and these animals are bad, you know? Mm. And like, I totally was thinking like, ah, uh, you're you're one of these jerks who are just like, you know, like, but then, but yeah, I don't know. I guess like, uh, yeah, you got a beef against humans too, right? We were making a lot of assumptions. That was wrong of and us. And that's really bad. That's bad. That's, yeah, that's on us. Yeah. That is on I owe you a shopping date. Really? Yes. Ooh, shopping right. with JJ. Get <laughs> some clothes. We can go anytime you want. Uh, I'm, I'm there. John Feathers. Uh, <laughs> John Feathers looks over at you and says, "Look, <laughs> man, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. You guys seem strapped for ideas. <laughs> it seems like this guy's got a skill set that you guys really need. And at the end of the day." You know, that feels valuable. What's the worst can happen? You guys got the other Vinguri, right? Let's say this guy turns this into a bone or does a bone <laughs> thing or something. I don't know. Like, you just get another crown. Well, right? then we gotta go all the way back. <laughs> so, question Do eagles wear pants like on the legs or on the arms? John I looks, think it's paint on the what? legs. John looks like Are you sick. sure? Because those are more like akin to our arms, because you know, you grip things and then the legs are more on about wings. the wings. I think it's the eagle's choice, actually. That's true. Oh, it could be both. Um, you see, um, yeah, John looks at you and says, ooh, double pants. <laughs> like autumnal colors. Uh, you see that John Feathers has like this beautiful, rich, like corduroy brown spider silk <laughs> suit. And he's got like little cuffs with like cuff links that are made out of like chitinous spider carapace that like Jessica kind of like peeled some like peeling like spider spikes off. And so he's got a full like suit jacket, tie, shirt, uh, pants, and he doesn't have shoes on his talons, but he does have like spats. So he's got yes. like, tops on the talons. Oh. You see, John Feathers. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna be very real. I look good. Yeah, you do. You sure do. Uh, <laughs> sure do. Marcus. And you see, John walks out and says, wow, look at this place. Yeah. Um, do you like it? I mean, it's grotesque, but it's not bad. Yeah. It's just, yeah. yeah. Um, well, John, does any of this appeal to you? You're strictly on a clothes hunt. You see, he looks and goes, actually, I'm pretty hungry, and most of this is stuff I eat, so that's good for me. Wonderful. Whatever he wants, it's on me. Um, and you see, John goes, Bleh. What? What, John? What? Well, it's rumbling, right? Yeah. But do you know what it means? I don't know. I mean, do these goblins all know what's going on, what's about to happen? I don't know. Should I ask one of them? I mean, you can if you want. John goes like, this is a little grim for me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you don't? Is it the skin or the hats? I mean, leather is leather. It's mm -hmm. just that I don't want to. I don't. I don't. If I'm flying around with a hat. I'm going like, oh, this used to be a guy named Matthias. I'd rather not know. Almost like, you know, yeah, like it's a little too personal. Does that make sense? Oh, you don't want a hat with a name. Right, exactly. You want a hat without a name. Also, I'm just trying to think, hmm. I don't know if I can pull off a hat. John, stop it. Okay. Literally stop it. Of course you can. I don't know. I John! Mean, I feel like once you become a hat guy, that's like, you got to commit. No, you can be whoever you want to be. Okay, don't let society tell you you gotta be a hat guy just because you're wearing hat, a silk guy just because you're wearing silks. You can be whoever. Change every day. It doesn't matter. It's all fluid. I want a fucking hat! Let's get it! Let's one, get a bitch. fucking hat! You, you're just like scanning the ground here for like this little fucking halfling. John looks around and says, I'll be honest, I don't see her. Like you don't you don't see her like. I'm seeing a lot and I'm not seeing okay, her. Okay, that, that's a good check. All right, uh. I mean, hey. What do you think? Should we fly out further, see if we see her, or? He looks at the armies of light, and he looks at the column of war riders and says, I think we should maybe hustle back. I mean, even money says that halfling's in the blood keep hiding somewhere. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love you. Let's go. <laughs> he looks and says, man, 
I just always was like, eagles fight with the side of light. And I've become more, I don't know if this is too sentimental, I've just become more myself today than I ever thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, Aww. see, here's, here's, here's the difference, I think. We're listening. We're not using you for our, I mean, we kind of are using you for our, but you have a say too. You're not using me, we have a contract. We have exactly. a deal. Exactly, yeah. We have a deal. Yeah. I, I, you know, some fucking moth shows up and says, hey, there's fucking Kassara is trapped on the top of a tower. Go get her. Okay. Like my, like I didn't well, have things to do this week? That? Yeah, what, yeah, what do, do I get out of that? You know? <laughs> like I didn't have shit to do? Yeah, okay, no. sure. Just some fucking bird. I'm as smart as a human being, but because I don't wear pants, I'm like an asshole. I don't know. It doesn't yeah. make any fucking sense. Yeah, no, look. You get in your golden nest and everything you asked for, but look, when I take over my kingdom, kill my brother, take my rightful place on the throne, <laughs> There's always gonna be a seat for you at the table. Oh. I like to hear. There's always. Let's, <laughs> let's get it done. <laughs> and it turns around, <laughs> flies back. Um, Told you a little bit something about the good of men and elves and and eagles and eagles. Thanks. I'm not a good example of that, but I appreciate it. <laughs> now, uh, also, we got a new member of the crew. Want to introduce him before we get into all this? This is John Feathers. He's a part of the crew. You see, they all look, and you see, that there's a weird moment where they're sizing each other up. You see that Bad Henry goes, "Well, you're a large bird." And you see that John looks at him and says, "You're a large asshole." And you see that. <laughs> And you see that ring up. Also, why haven't you included my friend John Feathers in your in your collection of peoples? This Aww. fucking bird with clothes on? Oh. 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 Don't you dare! See, John looks over at you. That's what he is. Yeah. <laughs> see, uh, John looks over and looks at you, Maggie, and goes, Do I look stupid? No, you look fantastic, and if you let someone tell you otherwise, I'll scream. <laughs> <laughs> One of the paparazzi takes a, a really great picture of him. <laughs> oh. John, John, look, look! <laughs> Oh, it just flatters my collarbone. Yes. I look like, yeah. <laughs> Let that inspire you into confidence. Uh, <laughs> who is this mystery bird strolling through the sky? <laughs> Who's more better, Tom Cruise or this mystery bird? Uh, you see, uh, uh, John just fucking rakes his claw across this eagle in the back here, badly injures him. Uh, blood is everywhere, and this eagle goes, ah, wicked bird. And you see, John takes a little uh, silk pocket square and throws it at him and says, clean yourself up. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's a new look for me. I feel yes. great. Yes, bitch. <laughs> uh, you feel something thud on the ground next to you as you are uh, giving birth. Mm -hmm. um, you look over to you as you're pushing uh, uh, this sort of like, <sighs> and you uh, hear something thud with a sickening crack and a lurch. Um, you look over next to you and you see. Um, covered in blood, um, struggling to breathe, his suit torn to pieces. No! <laughs> Is John Feathers. Uh, John looks over at you, uh, his eyes flutter, and he goes, It's gonna be okay. No, it's not. It's gonna be okay. No, it's I need not. you to breathe. No, I need you. I need you to breathe. Be my love. You see, he puts out a wing, <laughs> touches your hand, and he goes, You need to breathe, okay? Um, and uh, you begin to feel something. You feel claws moving inside you. Um, John goes, it's okay. This is natural. Really? This is natural. Okay. All right, you're about to lay an egg. Okay. What? Egg's gonna come out. What's that? It's an egg. I assume. I don't know. <laughs> no, don't use your science on me. Is it an I egg or is it not an egg? I'll be honest. I don't even really know how my whole shit works. Oh, so, God, read a book. Haven't you met a female eagle? Of course. I have a girlfriend. I get how it works, but you I just don't. You have a girlfriend? Yeah. You never told me. Yeah, Samantha Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> Philadelphia Eagles? <laughs> For John, I'll roll it in front of the board. Okay. This is John's first uh, death saving throw. 10. That is a success. Um, he looks over at you and says, Okay, I know it's hard. Yeah. Being a single parent is hard. Yeah. But you need to look at me. Yeah. It's gonna be okay, all right? Okay. I just want you to breathe and focus. Okay. What are you feeling right now? <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Oh my god. Um, 18, another success. Um, he goes, you know, right? We're in the 
this together, okay? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna teach your kid how to fly. Oh my this, God. All right? Teach him how to throw a... What do you throw? I don't throw anything. We have bad, but we mostly do talents. That's mostly what we do. Great, teach him how to claw uh, stuff. Yes, I'll teach him how to claw. Him, you know it's gonna be a boy. Um, I do. Girls make a death save. 12. Oh. He stabilizes. He says, boy, thank you. And you see that uh, stemming from your fingertips, red flame, not hot, but just warm, enters John's wings, goes, and you watch as his wounds heal. <sighs> and a power of healing flows through you from your own blood that you have never seen your father or Zalmaj nor any other demon do. Your own miracle. Fuck yes! <laughs> yeah. uh, and John looks and goes, I like the sound of that. Uncle John's not a bad call. And he stabilizes at zero, goes into unconsciousness. You see that uh, John is actually is still at zero, still stabilized, mm. but returns to consciousness, looks up and goes, <clears throat> Hey, so far, how you doing? The kid all right? Oh, I look over at, uh, at Maggie. Uh, oh, hey there, bud. He looks over, he sees sort of like nuzzles his beak against his head. He goes, all right. He's beautiful, Maggie. Thank you. He's really beautiful. Really, thank you. He's a lucky kid. <sighs> Um, well, I'll tell you what, gang. I think um, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna call it here. I'm lucky to be alive. I'm feeling something in my wing fucked up. I think staying here, high altitude, uh, for a little while is gonna be good for me. You don't want to go underground to the deepest cavern of the Blood Keep and find a fountain of blood. Yeah, I'm fully good, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> John. I do appreciate that. We're gonna miss you so much if you stay. He's, he smiles and goes, you know, it's an interesting thing, because the eagles are often called the freest of all the races of Elna, and, um, you know, it doesn't really mean anything to be free if you can't choose to go off on a wild tangent, join up with the bad guys, buy a suit and a skin hat, and, Make six great friends all in the same day. Sorry, seven, Jeremy. And he looks wow. up. Uh, 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 and eight. And he says, and the little guy, he goes, you got a, <coughs> you got a name for the little guy in mind yet? Should I heal our friend John so he's not just up here on? John looks and says, says, the only eagle that saw me wearing this suit is dead. So you don't have to worry about that. Right. Um, uh, Man, that's. Ominous as hell and rad. Oh, <laughs> I meant to tell you, John. After all this, I feel like we can make it. Meet me at Kale Stoop. I still owe you a nest. He says, hell yeah. And I owe you a drink, my friend. <laughs> Turn my life around. He drinks? <laughs> <laughs> I never have before. Glasses are hard with beaks, but... Mm. I'm gonna figure it out. I mean, he pants a suit and a glass of alcohol. I feel like it's a new world for you, John. It's a brand new day. You're amazing. Good luck, Leland Jr. It's oh. a pleasure to meet you. Wanna say, second option for the name, John Feathers the Eagle the Baby. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he says, I'm honored, man. That's great. All right, you kids get out of here, huh? Yes, sir. Uh, Goodbye, Feathers. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you hear a familiar voice behind you. Uh, and you see, he says, my friend, looking sharp, man. Word gets around it. You are starting to take the mask off? What's going on? And you see John Feathers. And a, uh, uh, he has now a full wardrobe. He's in like a new suit, like jet black. He's got like a little spider logo on the pocket square. <laughs> A uh, beautiful leather skin hat um, that you see <laughs> looks like it has a familiar ruddy red, and you see that the skin was harvested from Olog, who just can't die now. <laughs> you, see, you see John looks at you and says, looking sharp, my friend. How's it going? Uh, pretty good, man, pretty good. Now that things are settled here. Listen, uh, I don't mean to tell you your business, but uh, I heard about a little score if you want in. You know I'm always in. <laughs> says, I hear there's a small sky nation out there with a very old king and only one heir for the throne. 
be a shame if anything happened to that old man, don't you think? It'd be a terrible shame. <laughs> Need a ride? Let's go. <laughs> John Feathers spreads his wings and soars underneath the balcony at the edge of the blood keep. Um, and Marcus, you <laughs> swan dive off, <laughs> land on your buddy, and he goes, let's do this. And in what will be the most uh, out of genre thing I do, he puts a full pair of sunglasses on. <laughs> <laughs> He's so hot. We got a rabbit hat and just slam it on John. He looks amazing! Yeah, yeah, he looks great. Let's go, let's go. <laughs>